हेलो गाइस वेलकम वंस अगेन टू माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑन जावा फॉर बिगनर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट कीवर्ड इन जावा दैट इज फाइनल कीवर्ड सो व्हाई वी यूज फाइनल कीवर्ड द फाइनल कीवर्ड इन जावा इज यूज्ड टू रिस्ट्रिक्ट द यूजर सो दैट things cannot be modified after the initialization okay so final keyword is used in three situations in java one is to declare variables or constant second one is to make final method and third one is to make final classes okay now let's take a look at what final does in each of these three situations when we use final keyword with variable then we cannot change the value of a final variable once it is initialized means final variable will be a constant and if we use final keyword with classes we cannot extend a final class means we cannot create sub class okay next if we use final keyword with method then a final method cannot be overridden means when a sub class call the final method of a parent class it cannot be override by the sub class now let's go towards the code part for better understanding for example i have a class called demo and first of all we will see that if you declare a variable as a final then it can only be initialized once okay so i have declared a member variable which is public final int number and here i have added final in front of this variable declaration and we know if it is final it can only be initialized once right so for that i will declare a constructor with the same class name and i am going to initialize number value to 50 in my constructor okay and here i have initialized it only once first time okay and then go to the main class and i will create an instance of this class demo d1 is equal to new demo then i am trying to assign the values of this number variable d1 once again right so for example 100 okay and when i compile and run this program it gives me error and the error says the final field demo dot number cannot be assigned and also you can see here there is a red cross and there is a underline below number variable that shows there is some error and this error because we have defined number variable as final means once i assign this variable final then i cannot assign new value again okay if i comment this you can see red cross is gone and if we compile it is working perfectly fine here there is no error means if i try to reinitialize or reassign a value to a final variable then it is not allowed understood so generally we can use final keyword for variables when we want to declare it as a constant we can simply add final keyword before this variable okay understood so this is about final variable now let's talk about final class the final class cannot be sub class sub class means you can have the property of one class into another class by means of inheritance so for example i have the parent class 
whose property like member variable or member method i want to use inside my child class i can use it like a child class extend parent class this is totally fine if you write extend parent this means that we are inheriting from parent class to the child class okay so till now only that much code if we compile the program it compile totally fine no issues because parent class is not final class right now okay now if i add this final keyword before the declaration of a class so i will write public final class parent instead of public class parent here i have added this final keyword before class now this class becomes final class okay now see what happen if i compile this program it will show some error what is the error here could not find or load main class and also you can see here there is a red cross and there is a pink color underline below parent class name what is this that shows there is some error and that error because we have defined parent class as final so whenever you declare a class as a final you cannot subclass it from parent class okay so you cannot extend from parent class okay so this is all about final class now let's take a look at another case that we are going to use final keyword with a method here there is a same class parent over here but this time there is no final keyword so this class is not final class i can extend this class normally okay now inside this parent class we have a method called display here and this will display a message hi i am a parent okay now after this i will create a child class here because this parent class is not final class so we can extend from the parent class and inside this the display method which says ha ha i am parent you are child so in this case what is happening is the child class is extending from the parent class and it is overriding the display method which belongs to the parent class and inside which parent class want to display its own message but because of this overwriting same method in child class display method definition is change which was defined by the parent or super class understood to check this we'll go to the main class and just create an object of a parent class and create an object of a child class and then call the display method using parent dot display and child dot display just compile and run the program and we can see the output the parent is saying hi i am parent but child is also saying ha ha i am parent you are the child what is this so display method of a child change the definition or we can say overwrote the definition of a parent display method this creates a confusion how we decide who is parent we want to make sure that the parent display method should not be change so in that case we can make this method final so now this method is final if we see it is display in child you cannot override the final method right okay now let's remove this display method from the child class and also remove child dot display because now there is no use now if we compile and run it again it will compile properly and it will display based on the parent class message so it means if the super class has a method which use the final keyword the child class or the sub class 
कैन नॉट मेक दैट मैथड एट ऑल वी नीड टू रिमूव दैट मैथड देर इज नो अदर वे और वी हैव टू चेंज द सिग्नेचर ऑफ दैट मैथड so this is the advantageous in some situations when we are performing something in the super class method and we don't want the sub class method to change that right so final method cannot be overridden by the sub class done so just remember these three key sentences and you will be good to go in the programming hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe this video thank you